Ryan's special delivery. The Christmas season had arrived and the engines found themselves stuck in the thick of it. Snow had come and the workload would often back up and pile up, adding to the agony of the holidays. Especially with the mail. I'm here, Tom. Oh, thank you, Percy. I picked up the mail from the harbor, but I couldn't pick up the mail at Ellsbridge. My cars were full. I don't know if I have time to run back and fetch it now. I have trucks to take. Oh, I suppose I could squeeze it into my run. But I don't know if my van will let me. She doesn't like the cold and the roads are hard. I'm making a run to Ellsbridge now. I shall pick it up on my return journey. Oh, bless you, Toby. The mail's only going to get worse from here. Percy can't deliver it all on his own, and us postmen don't have vans long enough to handle the deliveries. We'll figure it out, Tom. We always do. Maybe we already have. Oh, what would that be now, lad? Percy told his idea at the time, which he agreed was a good idea. He phoned the fat controller, who also agreed to begin the arrangement at once. Do I have a sense there's more snow coming this week? Not more snow. The slush is ruining my red paint. Never mind the slush. What about the work? There's so much of it, and it's not going down. Annie and Clarabelle are so full. It's getting hard to pull them. Puh! Little Thomas, you don't have heavy express coaches to pull, or heavy freight trains, or splendid paint to, 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 to keep splendid. Ah, good evening everyone. I have an important announcement. All of you are going to have a bit of change to your work. As Percy has notified me, the mail is backing up. And there's not enough trains to handle the island's mail. So, it's been decided to add mail cars to everyone's trains to alleviate the stress. That way, the mail will be constantly delivered. And that is all. Good night, engines. <laughs> Leave it to a little engine like Percy to give us even more work to do. Let's all just pass our work on to someone else, since apparently we could do that now. All right, everyone, please stop. The mail is an important job, especially at this time of year, and it cannot be delayed. And if we all pitch in, the job will be easy. Fine, but it had better not delay me. Soon, all the engines had mail cars on their trains. Every passenger train, freight train, every branch line, the narrow gauge railway, all had mail cars. Even the small railway had mail, much to Mike's dismay. Why should I have to carry mail cars? I'm supposed to be keeping warm in my shed, not playing delivery boy. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I need this mail. I need to take it with my goods to Vickerstown. Well, I hope you don't have any more of this rubbish to take. I have a pickup at Ellsbridge with Percy. But what about your goods? It'll have to wait. I must get the job done. You're still here, Ryan. You were meant to leave by now. I got a bit delayed with Mike at the mail. This meticulous mail is making me mad. All the same, you can't forget your other work. The jobs must be done on time. I'm doing my best. That's all you can do. There's more snow coming, so be careful. I will. Goodbye. As Ryan made his way with his train, it began to snow. Soon Ryan reached Ellsbridge, still a bit behind schedule. He was exhausted. James was there. Ryan, I thought you were supposed to be here before me. I was. 
I got the lady with the mail. Has Percy arrived yet? No, I've been here for nearly an hour. There was an avalanche on Thomas's line. They've stopped the trains. I have to wait for Bertie to bring my passengers. But what about the mail? Oh, I think you should be able to leave it behind. Someone else will come along and get it. Oh, I don't know. It would help us get on schedule. All right then. Goodbye, James. Just as Ryan was out of sight, Bertie arrived at the station, preceded by a frantic Tom Tipper. Oh, oh, did Ryan arrive yet? Ah, oh, you just missed him. He couldn't wait for Percy. Oh no, I have Percy's mail. What? Oh, I wish you phoned ahead, lad. Could have stopped him. Oh, I tried. The telephone lines are down. I'll have to get the mail to Vigasan myself then. Can it wait? This isn't ideal weather for delivering mail. Oh, I can't let the mail be delayed. There's no time. It's a postman's bed. We'll have to go. Goodbye, everyone. Tom Tipper climbed into his van and it roared into life. The roads were icy and the snow was fierce. Tom's van fought through the storm. It groaned and moaned as the van struggled through the snow. Suddenly, Tom lost control. The van veered off the road into a snowbank. Tom tried to reverse, but the van's engine spluttered and stopped. Meanwhile, Ryan was on his way back home. He'd made his delivery and was tired. He noticed the post van stuck in the drift and stopped. Oh, Mr. Tipper, is that you? Oh, yes, Ryan. My van is stuck in the snow, and I have to get the mail over to Vickerstone. It was supposed to be on your train, but you left. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I didn't want the gods to be light. Duck was right. I can't forget about my other jobs. Don't worry. I can get help and deliver your mail. Ryan collected the mail in his brake fan and ran back to Vickerstown. Soon, he had brought a crane and flatbed to rescue Tom and his post van. Mr. Tipper? Oh, thank you, Ryan. But what about your van? Oh, we'll have to get her fixed in the new year. For now, it's time to get her and myself home. Oh, sorry again. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Really, Ryan arrived at Thomas's junction. Percy, Tom Tipper's wife, and Sir Topham Hat were waiting. Good work, Ryan. But this is my fault, sir. If I had waited, Mr. Tipper wouldn't have had his accident. That accident happened due to poor roads and a poor van. Which the railway will fully compensate repairs for. Consider it a Christmas gift. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll let my superiors know. I'm just glad I was able to help out in the end. But I still should have done my deliveries. But you brought the most important delivery of all. My tummy home. Safe and warm. Oh yes, oh, I suppose I did. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Tipper. Oh, and Merry Christmas to you too.